Welcome to the video abstract of June 6, 2022 issue of Current Biology. My name is Monika Trupinic. I work at the Institute Ruzer Boskovic in Zagreb, Croatia. My lab studies the biophysical principles underlying the mitotic spindle assembly and function. In this video abstract, we will discuss origins of the chirality of the mitotic spindle and its biological roles. The mitotic spindle is a machinery that is responsible for the division of the genetic material. It is also a mechanical structure that can generate and balance forces within itself that are crucial for proper spindle functioning in each phase of mitosis, but they are also players responsible for the shape of a spindle. Recently, we have shown that the shape of the mitotic spindle in human cancer cell lines is chiral, as the spindle has a left-handed twist around the pole-to-pole -pole axis. Microtubule bundles twist because of the torques that exist within them in addition to other linear forces. Now we show that spindles are most chiral near the metaphase to the anaphase transition. Spindles are born without twists. The left-handed twist in HeLa cells arises as the spindle acquires its metaphase shape, peaks at the start of the chromosome segregation, and declines afterwards. In RP1 cells, the twist shows a similar trend, but the values are much less pronounced, and the twist is mostly noticeable only in early anaphase. The biological role of spindle chirality is still unknown. Test the idea that the chiral shape may help the spindle to absorb mechanical load, we compress the spindles along the pole-to-pole -pole axis. Traces of the microtubule bundles in the end-on view after one minute of compression were more rounded than before compression, indicating an increase in twist while the mitotic spindle shortened. Although chirality may be simply a side effect of the activity of torque generating motors, the twisted shapes of microtubule bundles may contribute to spindle physiology by allowing changes of spindle shape as a mechanical response to external forces. Next, we wanted to find the origin of the spindle chirality. So we performed a candidate screen on HeLa and RP1 cells in which we perturb motor proteins and other microtubule associated proteins one by one. First, motor proteins that exert torque on the microtubules may generate the twisted shape of a bundle by twisting the microtubules within the bundle around each other or by twisting microtubules with respect to the spindle pole. In agreement with our previous work on HeLa cells, we found that acute inhibition of EG5, shown here in bright yellow, decreased the left-handed spindle twist in both HeLa and RP1 cells. Depletion of KIF18A, shown in bright red, abolished spindle twist in HeLa cells and intriguingly resulted in right-handed twist in RP1 cells causing approximately 71% of RP1 spindles to twist in the right-handed fashion. Depletion of MKLP1 in purple did not change twist in HeLa cells, but significantly changed the twist in RP1 cells, where 94% of spindles were twisted in a right-handed direction. Inhibition of dynein in dark brown abolished the twist in HeLa cells, but did not change the twist in RP1 cells. We conclude that EG5, KIF18A, MKLP1, and dynein regulate the torque within the spindle, which lead to the twisted shape of microtubule bundles, but their contribution differs in different cell lines. Then we tested also two other groups of proteins. The first, proteins that crosslink neighboring microtubules or link microtubules with the pole may prevent free rotation of the microtubules and thereby allowing for twisting of bundles. Example of such protein is PRC1. And lastly, nucleation of new microtubules within the bundle, for which the augment complex is responsible, may also somehow affect the bundle twist. While depletion of PRC1 did not significantly change spindle twist, depletion of augment subunits yielded interesting results. After depletion of HAU6 subunit of augment complex, the spindles in HeLa cells had zero twist on average, whereas those in RP1 cells had right-handed twist. A similar result was observed after the depletion of the augment subunit HAU8. This resulted in zero average twist in HeLa cells and a strong right-handed twist in RP1 cells. In this work, from a biomechanical point of view, we show that forces within or outside the spindle regulate spindle twist. HeLa cell spindles in metaphase and just after anaphase onset are more round and more twisted than in prometaphase and late anaphase when the spindles are elongated and twist is largely absent. In RP1 spindles, which are overall more elongated than HeLa spindles, the twist is weaker. Moreover, when we compressed HeLa spindles along the pole-to-pole -pole axis, they became rounder and their twist increased. EG5, KIF18A, MKLAP1, and dynein, all of these motors exert torque on the microtubule in vitro. 
given that the first three motors are found within the anti-parallel overlaps of bridging microtubules in the spindle, we suggest that they generate the twisted shape of a bundle by rotating the anti-parallel microtubules within the bundle around each other, whereas dynein acts through microtubule rotation close to the spindle pole. We also propose that EG5, which also localizes in the pole region where it crosslinks parallel microtubules, prevents their free rotation within the bundle and thereby promoting the accumulation of torsional stresses, though it may also actively generate torques at the pole. Intriguingly, the strong, strongest effect on the spindle twist was obtained by depletion of the HAU6 or HAU8 subunits of the augment complex. Given that augment depletion reduces the microtubule number within bridging fibers, we suggest that the altered twist in, is related to the reduced anti-parallel overlaps where torque generating motors bind. Although spindle chirality may be simply a side effect of the action of motors that generate torques, the twisted shapes of microtubule bundles may contribute to spindle function. We propose that the twisted shape observed during metaphase is beneficial for the spindle because it allows for changes of spindle shape as a mechanical response to external forces. A twisted spindle can quickly shorten under compressive forces by increasing the twist in a manner similar to an elastic spring. In contrast to metaphase during late anaphase, the spindle is not chiral as the bundles straighten, likely due to the accumulation of PRC1 and other mid-zone proteins. We speculate that the straight shape of the bundles are beneficial for the spindle in late anaphase to allow for forces transmission from the central overlap region to the poles to move the chromosomes apart and keep them separated. Additional functions of spindle chirality may be to promote physical separation of adjacent bundles during prometaphase or to help start spindle elongation at the onset of anaphase by releasing elastic energy that is stored in the twisted bundles. All in all, twist of the mitotic spindle will yet to be an exciting topic for all the further research.